Hello friends and welcome once again to my channel. So friends in this video we will be uh, looking at the shuttering design for a conventional slab shuttering and this is also applicable for conventional uh, beams as well because anyways we are casting slab and beam together. So in this video we will be studying about the important calculations that have to be involved for designing each and every members of the shuttering. The, uh, the first and foremost uh, element of a shuttering system is the plywood then the uh, the cup lock system then the cross members the primary members like the ismc or the channel sections that we use for supporting the plywood so um, if you want to know more in more details about uh, the conven conventional shuttering system you can also watch my video in which i have explained in detail in depth of each and every step that has to be uh, done to to execute a conventional shuttering system in a nice animated manner so you can go and check out that video and watch it till the end so it will be much easier for you to understand this video because some of the uh, topics uh, is used from that video in this video because uh, i cannot um, you know extend this video for, for too long so quickly we will go and start off with the video so uh, when, when you are designing a shuttering system first of all you have to uh, understand the cost that is involved in the shuttering system because uh, if you are designing a shuttering uh, a shuttering system which is too strong for a smaller slab then it will be costing you more so you have to be uh, you know optimistic and to design your shuttering in such a way that it is economical as well as it is safe and um, another thing that you have to understand is to know the depth of the slab or the depth of the beam that you are designing because the depth of the slab and the beam will be the will be the only elements that will be causing the maximum load on the shuttering system which will be of course due to the self weight of the concrete so in this video you can see i am going to show you the uh, shuttering design for a 250 mm thick slab it is also applicable for beams as well so you just have to make small changes i'll show you so first of all when you're designing a slab you have to know what are the loads that are coming on the shuttering so first thing is to design the load uh, so, sorry to calculate the load so first of all you have to calculate the self weight of the concrete uh, wet concrete of course when you are pouring so that is 2600 kg per meter cube that is assumed in this and that is multiplied by if you multiply it by the uh, depth of the section that is 250 that is, i have taken 2.0.25 you will get the uh, kg per meter square load okay uh, so this is quite sim similar to what we did in college uh, while designing the uh, singly reinforced beam doubly reinforced beam. it is very similar to that it will be much easier if you uh, know the concept so self weight of the 12 mm thickness plywood it is, it is taken at 10 kg per meter square uh, you can also refer the is code for this i'll um, put that in the text and again the live load adds, has to be assumed because when you are doing the concreting work there, at that time there will be some live loads involved like machinery manpower etc and if you add all these load you will get 860 kg per meter square that is the total load on the shuttering system uh, while the shutter uh, pouring is going on so first of all we will design the plywood 12 mm thickness this is given in is code uh, i think 883 so total load on the plywood is 860 kg per meter square and if you convert it in kg per centimeter square it will be 0 0.086 okay now this plywood is supported always on a uh, cross member it is made up of square tube 40 mm by 40 mm and these 40 mm by 40 mm square tubes are placed at 240 center to center distance in this case in in my shuttering design so um, you can assume it as 250 or 300 depending upon the load you have to first start off with the lowest amount so that your design is safe so here it is assumed as 240 mm so if you consider this uh, two square tubes supporting the plywood so the span of the plywood will be 240 mm so you can see here 240 mm is the span of the plywood and the load on the plywood is 0 0.086 kg per centimeter so and the, on the corner there is these two tubes cross tubes on both the sides that is supporting the plywood so if you calculate the maximum bending moment will be w l square by 8 that is w is the load and 24 is the um, span that is 240 mm it is converted in centimeter so that all the values are in kg per centimeter so maximum bending moment is 6.192 and then the bending stress is calculated to uh, determine whether the 
मेंबर इज सेफ इन बेंडिंग ओके सो द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस सिग्मा बी इज एम बाय जेड दैट जेड इज द सेक्शन मॉड्यूल सो यू कैन गेट द सेक्शन मॉड्यूल ऑफ प्लाईवुड फ्रॉम द आई एस कोड इट सेल्फ दैट इज यू कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेटेड बाय योर सेल्फ इट इज क्वेट सिंपल सो ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट एट बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस दैट इज एम बाई जेड विच इज लेस देन वन ट्वेंटी के जी पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर सो दिस वन ट्वेंटी के जी पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर इज अ परमिसिबल मैक्सिम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस विच इज अलावेबल इन द प्लाईवुड ऑफ ट्वेल्व एम एम थिकनेस विच इज ऑल्सो गिवेन इन द आई एस कोड आई एस एट एट थ्री यू कैन रेफर डेट कोड एंड देन द डिफ्लेक्शन इज ऑल्सो कैलकुलेटेड बिकॉज द मेम्बर शुड बी ऑलवेज सेफ इन डिफ्लेक्शन डिफ्लेक्शन फॉर्मुला इज वेरी सिंपल फॉर अ सिम्पली सपोर्टेड बीम विथ यू डी एल फाइव बाई थ्री एटी फोर इन टू डब्ल्यू एल क्यूब आई हैव रिटर्न दिस यूर इन रेड अपॉन थ्री एटी फोर ई आई सो जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट ऑल दोज वैल्यूज एंड यू विल गेट द मैक्म डिफ्लेक्शन एज पॉइंट थ्री टू एम एम एंड द मैक्म डिफ्लेक्शन एज पर आई एस एट एट थ्री क्लॉज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट नाइन पॉइंट वन इज एल बाय टू सेवेंटी सो यू कैन गेट द मैक्म डिफ्लेक्शन अलावेबल इज पॉइंट एट एट एंड अवर डिफ्लेक्शन इज पॉइंट थ्री टू सो द प्लाईवुड इज सेफ नाउ सो नेक्स्ट वी विल गो विद द क्रॉस मेम्बर सो दोज प्लाईवुड्स आर सपोर्टेड ऑन द स्क्वेर ट्यूब्स ओके and these square tubes are supported on the uh, the channels or the ismbs so we'll go uh, step by step so load on the each of the member will be 860 that is the total load multiplied by span of the uh, plywood so you will get 860 into 0.24 as 207 kg per meter so this will be udl on the the load from the plywood will be acting as a udl on the uh, square tube so that is why i have multiplied it by the span of the ply so load uh, in that we have to add the self weight of the uh, 40 by 40 by 4 mm thick tube which you will always get in the is code that is what what is the running meter weight so if we add these two to self weight and the total load on the uh, square tube you will get 212 kg per meter okay so this is the load now these square tubes are supported on the main primary members okay so in this shattering design the primary members are assumed to be taken as ISLB 100 by 50 some people take it as ISMC 100 some people take it take as ISMB 75 or 100 so depends on the design whichever is safe you can take so based upon your side conditions you can take any of the members okay now the span of the cross members will be 1 meter why because we have assumed the grade uh, gr the grade of the shattering to be 1 meter by 1 meter so the couple of the vertical systems will be placed at 1 meter by 1 meter on these uh, vertical couple of the um, the channels will be placed which will also be uh, spanning for a length of 1 meter so of course um, if you keep these square tubes on the ismc it will or the islb that is the primary member it will be spanning as 1 meter also so the total load is 212 kg per meter now for this load we have to design the um, 40 by 40 uh, tube and we have to check whether this is safe for that particular load now uh, the span for this uh, squ uh, square tube will be also 1 meter because our couple of grid is assumed as 1 meter by 1 meters and uh, of course on these 1 meter 1 meter verticals the channels or ismb is supported and on that the square tube is supported so be because of that the span of the uh, square tube will be 1 meter now the same step will be repeated we have to calculate the maximum bending moment based upon the span then the bending stress is calculated uh, sigma b is equal to m by z maximum m divided by z that is the section modulus which is also given here you can also directly get it from the steel table z x x i x x everything is given r minimum etc everything is given in the is code now what is the permissible bending stress for steel in the uh, plywood for the plywood we have directly taken it from the is code now for this it is also given in is code is 800 but it is in uh, the is code 81984 we are referring that old code because it is directly uh, given as to take it 0.67 fy okay so from that we get the value of permissible bending stress okay now if our permissible bending stress is 1580 kg per cm square our bending stress is 458.40 which is already safe again then you can also calculate the shear stress this is not necessary to calculate it is not required though but you can also calculate and check for shear 
Now again, deflection is calculated by same method, same formula. Everything is used, and the maximum deflection is 1.24 mm, which is less than 3 mm, which is uh, required as per IS code. So it is okay. So as per IS code, uh, I will write it here. So the maximum deflection is given as L by 325. In IS code 800. Uh, 1984 we are referring the old code because uh, the old code prefers the working stress method design and the new code refers the limit state method design which is very tedious if you are designing for such a small thing this is not even a structural member so we should we generally not use the is code uh, the latest revision that is 2007 again it is a very lengthy process that's why so the next step is to so the next step is to check for the islb uh, primary member that we are using now again we here we have to decide which which span you have to take in this so if your grid size is one meter by one meter then of course the span here will be one meter if the span is one meter by say 1.5 meter one one meter by 1.2 meter so always take the maximum span so that you can uh, always be on the safer side so i'm sorry about that i earlier said that our grid is one meter by one meter it is one meter by 1.2 meters so in this case our span will be 1.2 meter which is the uh, maximum of these two spans so same step will be repeated again guys uh, the total load on the um, islb will be the entire load of the uh, concrete multiplied by the span of the supporting uh, the member which is on on its top that is the square tip member which was spaced at 241 center to center so that will be 860 into 1 then load is total load is calculated as 894 kg per meters then again uh, the bend, maximum bending moment is calculated and uh, the bending stress is calculated again the same steps are repeated guys and then deflection is calculated that is 0.72 we are getting and the maximum is 3.69 mm allowable so we are safe our islb is also safe so this was qu quite similar now we will proceed for the last step that is to design the vertical cup locks so this is slightly different because in this we have to uh, de design the member for a compression so we have to check for actual compression here so provide modular cup lock staging vertical pipe as 40 nb so generally this this pipe is uh, always used for a shattering system that is 40 nominal bore nb means nominal bore class b pipes are used and the grid is one meter by 1200 mm so following are the details that you will require you can refer uh, the is code for the tubes that is is1161 from that you will always uh, get the actual compression the permissible actual compression so cross section area is equal to 4.5 cm uh, r minimum is 1.59 and l is equal to 100 uh, cm because uh, if you see the bracings are given in the cup lock system that is at 1 meter center, 1 meter spacing so the effective length of that particular uh, vertical cup lock will be 1 meter only because if you say the 3 meter vertical is braced at 1 1 meters so the effective length is not 3 meters but 1 meter okay now the permissible stress in actual compression you can always get from table number two for fy 250 because our grade of steel is 250 and it is given in is 806 okay and um, what you have to do is here is first you have to calculate the slenderness ratio the slenderness ratio is equal to 100 upon 1.59 which is 62.89 now based upon this slenderness ratio you can cal and the uh, grade of steel a table is given in the is code from that table i will attach this table on the right side in the video you can see um, you can interpolate the value of uh, the permissible stress in actual compression so for this particular slenderness ratio i have got it as 1191 kg per centimeter square so now you have to check whether the actual stress in the uh, vertical cup lock system is within the permissible limits for that you have to know the loads on the each vertical system so if you see here these were the vertical pipe which were supporting the islb so the reactions on that will be 537 kg 537 kg how you receive this that will be w into l by 2 894 into l that is 1200 divided by 2 you will get 537 so this plus this that is the total load 
I have taken here 537 plus 537 which is equal to 1074 the self weight of the pipes including the bracing etc it is assumed as 100 kgs so 1174 is a total load total weight which will be on the vertical each vertical so uh, if you calculate the uh, actual compressive stress that is will be that will be p divided by a that is a cross section area so p is 1174 uh, 1174 that we calculated here divided by 4.5 which is the cross sectional area of one pipe okay so that will be 261 kg per centimeter square and which is less than 1191 kg per centimeter square so in this uh, in this way our design is safe the, the one thing that you need to know is when the shuttering height is increasing by 2.45 meter or more then again you have to provide cross bracings in the shuttering system i'll show you the section and the elevations how we have to keep so as you can see these uh, circles that you see are the vertical cup locks which are spaced at 1, uh, 1200 mm by 1000 mm now in between these vertical lines these are the islb that is uh, islb 100 by 50 at 1 meter so you can see one meter distance it is placed and it is always placed along the longer span now again the next thing is the square tubes that are, that are laid cross uh, in a cross fashion at a spacing of 240 center to center that is 40 by 40 by 4 thickness at 240 and the 12mm thick lies over that so if you see in the elevation it will all look like this this is the slab this is the ply and this is the um, what do you say the square tubes below the plywood and below the plywood you can see the islb which is uh, right below the square tube and these square tubes are supported on these vertical pipes and these vertical pipes are also braced horizontally at one meter center to center and these are the diagonal bracings which are required if the height is more than uh, 2.5 meters so that's how the shuttering design is done uh, for a slab in for a conventional slab i hope you understood this video if you have any doubt please comment down in the se uh, comment section below and for more videos subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and uh, till then i'll see you in the next video